Hello everyone, today we are going to start building our chat app using Flutter Framework 3.0 and Firebase. I will explain you step by step how to create a chat app from scratch. Before we begin, I will really appreciate if you can support my work with Patreon subscription, since I really don't want to create any paid courses because my philosophy is that knowledge doesn't have a price. For all supporters, I will leave all source code there for each video. Ok, let's begin. In this video, we will set up a project structure and routing. As you can see, I have a completely blank project. Let's start with removing my home page, stateful widget and extra comments. Put empty scaffold inside home parameters for now. Next, in pubspec.yaml import getx package. As I am recording this video, I have the version 4.6.5. Ok, let's create a project structure. Since we're gonna use getx, we will implement a model view controller pattern. Inside lib folder, create 6 folders. Models, Views, Controllers, Routes, Utils and Widgets. Inside controller folder, create two files home.controller.dart and auth.controller.dart. Inside views folder, create three files auth.view.dart, home.view.dart and unknown.view.dart. Inside the routes folder, create a file app.route.dart. Awesome! Now, for routing, we will use a named route, and so let's first create enums with our route names. Type enum, route view, and write three routes for now home, auth, and unknown. Next, we will write an extension for our route view. This will allow us to easily navigate to the corresponding page. Type extension action route view, on route view and create a future function go. With parameters bool replacement equals to false, bool clear all equals to false. Next create an if statement. If clear all equals to true, then return get dot of all name, name, predicate, route, return false. Also if replacement then return get that of named name. Also return get that to named name. So let's discuss about the function that we wrote. Basically, the logic is simple. If clear all is true, then we're navigating to particular page and removing all our pages from stack. If replacement is true, then we're navigating to particular page, but only our previous page will be removed from stack. And the last one is we're just navigating to particular name page and we can navigate back without removing any views from stack. Just in case, I will leave an article under this video for a more detailed explanation. So to navigate to a different page, all we need to do is call our route view enum with the named route we select and go function. Ok, next go to the controller folders and create an empty home controller and auth controller. First import a get package. Then to create a getx controller we simply write our class name and extend getx controller. Inside any of our controllers we will be implementing all business logic for our app. For example, handle auth logic or chat logic. Now go to the views folders and create empty pages for each file. First import a get package. Since we are using getx package as our state management, instead of a stateless or stateful widgets, we are gonna use get view which accept our controllers. Get view is basically a stateless widget, but the only difference that we also can manage and update a state easily in the widget tree. For example, like you would do with a value notifier or set state function, 
we would use OBX widget, but we're gonna talk about this later. Finally, go to the main.dart file and replace material app with get material app. Make sure that you imported the get package. Next, add get pages parameter. Since the return type is list of get page dynamic, all we need to do is type route view dot values dot map and create a switch statement. So basically, we're looping through all the values that we created in app.route file and assigning our use files to each route view case. By doing so, our app knows that if we type, for example, routeview.home.go, it will go to home view page. Lastly, for now, add initial route homeview.home.name. Great, that's pretty much it. In the next video, we will set up our custom theme. See you later!